Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to be doing another video here on how I mix my paints, as this is one of the most common questions. Um, so I generally say uh, five parts flow trowel, three parts paint, and two parts water. What that means is if you were to divide however much you're mixing into ten parts, that's how much it is. It could be this whole cup, it could be this little bit. So for today we're going to mix about this much of one color and then we'll go ahead on to the next one. So I would just take my flow trowel and fill it up to that flow trowel line there. So I'm bringing you down here so you can see it's at the flow trowel line there. Now we'll take our paint. For this I'm using Deco Arts Metallic. This is zinc. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here up to my paint line, which may be pretty much this whole bottle because this is only a two ounce bottle. Yep, that's going to be pretty much this whole bottle. Okay, so I'm going to take you to the side again here. So you can see my mixture is pretty much up to that paint line now. Now because I want the paint and the flow trowel to bond together pretty well, I'm going to go ahead and mix this first before adding any water. Because also the water that you add is going to depend on the paint you used. Some paints are thinner than others and you don't need as much water. So on the water especially, you cannot be robotic about it. Alright, try to scrape off the sides a bit here. Okay, so there we have that fairly well mixed. And now I'm going to add in a wa water. And I'm not going to automatically add it up to that water line. I'm going to put a little bit in first. And then I'm going to mix it. But I think that water line is pretty accurate for how much I'll need. This is still fairly thick. A lot of it's sticking to the stick. Um, I don't really generally use this as a test, although I know a lot of people do. I more use the uh, consistency as I'm stirring it as a test. So I'll add a little bit more water. Stir it in. And in this case, this is pretty thick still. I'm going to add even a little bit more water. Okay, at this point, I'm happy with the consistency. consistency. Um, it's a lot more runny, but not too runny. Still sticking to my stick a bit there, you know. So now I'm going to take you down to the side so you can kind of see where well, I went pretty much exactly to that water line, maybe a little bit above it. Yep, a little bit above it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, do I draw these lines on my cup? Every time? Heck no. I do not. I do it by sight. So let's go ahead and mix another color. I'm going to make less of this color. This is a uh, Deco Arts Metallic Purple. It's Purple Pearl is what it's called. So I put my flow trowel in the cup. Putting my paint in. And I do about half as much as I put the flow trowel in there. Go ahead and mix it up well. And then I go ahead and add my water. Obviously I need less water here. You can always add more water. You cannot take water out. So really do a little bit at a time on the water. Uh, 
I'm gonna add a tiny bit more and then I think we're good on that. Okay, now it's really hard to see consistency on a camera um, because consistency is not just sight, it's feel. It's how it feels when you stir it, how it feels when you pour it. Those are all the things that kind of determine whether you've got the right consistency or not. So I hope this helped a bit. Um, and people ask me all the time how I do my bottles. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just do the red here because it's almost empty. Now I do everything by sight, I'm not gonna lie. So I will take this and I will fill this bottle up, generally speaking, about halfway with Floetrol. I'm probably not gonna make a full bottle here, but. So I pour a bunch in. I look to see what level it's at. Then I go ahead with my paint. And I put about half as much as I put the flow troll in there. And just directly from the bottle. Good. Now I can feel that by the weight in the bottle. I can also look inside. You can't really see, but I can. I can look inside and see what level that's at. Then I put my lid back on. And I shake the crap out of it. For quite a while. Alright, so I've done a lot of shaking. So now, take the lid back off, and I'm going to go in here with my water. Same thing. I'm going to put about as much water in there as I put paint. Maybe a little bit less. And I'm going to do the same thing. And go ahead and shake. Now when I'm shaking it, I can tell how thick it is. So I can tell by that that this needs a little more water. Go ahead and add a little more water. And shake again. Now by how that feels and sounds, I can tell it's fine. I can also take maybe one of my leftover paint pour cups and I could test it if I wanted to and make sure the consistency is fine, which it is. So I didn't waste that paint. It's going to be used later. Now I generally will not use that bottle right away. I tend to pre-mix my paints a day before so that they have time to actually settle and mix together. So now that you guys have sat through all of that, we're going to do a really quick pour using the two colors in the cup that I just mixed up, the two metallic colors here, and a couple others. Let's go ahead and start off with this. This is like a silver. It's pretty cool. Um, and we'll add in my white, which I made this bottle a couple days ago, so it should be pretty well settled and mixed now. We're going to add some blue, and I always shake them up again before I use them. Just make sure everything, nothing's separated, you know, it's all still well mixed. Uh, and of course, we're going to use black. Good, and then we'll go ahead and add our purple. This is an 11 by 14 canvas, so I need a little more paint than usual because I'm usually using those uh, 8 by 10 canvases. So these ones require a little more paint, generally about 8 ounces. But in this cup, I think I'm going to end up doing probably 9 ounces. No, uh, no, that'll be about 8 ounces. Alright, so that should be plenty. 
I'm not adding so much of this um, kind of silver color because I've noticed silver really tends to take over. All right, go ahead and flip this. Let it sit for a minute and we'll be right back. All right, here we go. Okay, we're going to torch this a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's time to upgrade my torch. So I will be doing that soon. <clears throat> Alright, so far so good. Looks pretty cool. I'm going to bring it back a little bit this way. Okay. Very cool. So, as usual, let's let this sit, settle, see what other cells may occur, and then we'll go in for a close-up. Okay, awesome. So we got lots of cells, a bunch of lacing with this, uh, the kind of silver color I used, zinc. So we'll go ahead and we will do our close-up. So lower right hand corner here. Purple metallic in there. A little bit of the white popping through up here. I definitely didn't want to use too much of that. We've got lots of black of course. And here's the really cool like webbing, lacing, of that zinc color. Um, lower left hand corner there. And of course the overall picture. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope this helps. Uh, I hope it answers a lot of your questions on how to mix the paint. Um, let me know if you have any other questions of course in the comments. Do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.